Okay, show me your photo. <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. <laughs> you know what? Self destruct. Now, imagine AI would be capable of doing whatever we ask it to do. That's scary. But at this point of time, AI is not scary yet. It's actually very helpful. And in today's video, I just want to share with you guys some of my findings around AI tools in general and how they may be helpful in your day-to-day -day life, especially if you are a corner creator like me. Right now, there are literally thousands of tools available that are powered at some degree by AI. It may be that you've already tried a few, but didn't even know about that. Some of them I already covered in my previous videos, but today I'll just go through the most popular ones, mainly focusing on image and video. I gather them in one place, adding also the chapters, so you can add this video to your playlist and use it as a reference in the future. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I decided to start from the old good friend Photoshop. And a very fair question that you probably want to ask is whether Photoshop is artificial intelligence or not. And the simple answer is no, Photoshop is not artificial intelligence intelligence, but a bunch of Photoshop features are powered by artificial intelligence, such as the ability to automatically select and mask images, features that allow you to remove the background, there are more and more neural features appearing in the product portfolio. Moreover, if you are really impatient and want to discover more, you can always download a beta version of Photoshop and discover features that are not yet available to the wider audience. On top of all I've said right now, Adobe as of first half 2023 introduces the new product, which which is number two on our list, Adobe Firefly, where you would not only be able to generate images, banners, social posts using just a text description, but you would also be able to do a text-based video editing. Wow! For example, you have some video, as in this example, and you tell the tool to transform the scene in the video from summer into winter. That's, guys, really mind-blowing. I already requested to join the beta version. We'll see how it goes and we'll definitely let you guys know how it looks once I have an opportunity to try it out. Third tool that can be a great alternative to Photoshop because it has a free version and a pretty solid set of features is Canva. Canva is an AI-powered graphic design tool that will help you to create professional-looking graphics and designs for your content. Some AI features obviously are available only in the paid version of the tool, but some of them you can actually use totally for free. For example, text-to-image generator, which is something similar to what Adobe is about to introduce. But here we already have a working free tool, which is available to everyone. Just type anything you want the AI to generate for you. A couple of moments later, you have a bunch of images to choose from, which you can save save right away on your computer. The amount of tools you have in Canva is really impressive. For someone who really just needs to create some graphics or even edit a simple video for free using AI tools, Canva is an amazing piece of software that you can also download to your computer and work offline. Totally suggest at least to try it. And now it looks like Microsoft also felt the pressure and developed their own AI power tool to generate images from the text description. Technically, they developed two tools for that, but they have slightly different purposes. First tool is called Microsoft Designer. It will help you to create professional-looking documents, presentations, and graphics more easily. It uses AI-powered suggestions and templates to simplify the design process, so you don't have to focus on formatting, but rather on the content itself. I requested access on the webpage, and in less than one day, Microsoft invited me to try the tool. You can surely do it as well. The tool is pretty user-friendly, no extensive design experience needed, and it integrates with other Microsoft Office tools like PowerPoint and Word. Overall, the main purpose of Microsoft Designer is to make it easier for people to create visually appealing documents and presentations. Another tool from Microsoft is Image Creator. It is integrated with Bing Search Browser and will help you to generate AI images using Doll E Engine. It's enough to put some text prompt and AI will generate a set of images matching that request. You can sign up for free or just log into your existing Microsoft account, right away you will be granted some credits for images generations, and then simply type in any tag description you can think of to create a set of AI-generated images 
and enjoy. At this time, Image Creator supports English language prompts only, however, there are plans to support other languages in the future. Next, a powered tool for image generation is Stable Diffusion. Similarly to other tools, all you need to do is to describe in detail what you want to see on the picture, and in a matter of seconds it creates a photorealistic set of images on a given topic. I tried several times to get some weird images, and in many cases the tool did really well. In some cases it didn't catch the context and was not able to generate the desired image. So obviously there are some limitations, but in general that's a great tool to play with. The best part of Stable Diffusion is that you can create your own beautiful art online totally for free. So check out the link in the description and try it yourself. One more tool related to images that I wanted to talk about today is Wonder AI. This image generating platform allows you to transform yourself into anything you can think of. A lot of friends of mine tried these and several similar tools to generate their fantasy portraits and I should admit that the quality of those images and the way how it adjusts the entire thing to a particular style or a specific cartoon world is sick. The only drawback, this tool is not free. But after paying a fee, you'll get 200 images of yourself as a Disney character, for example, or superhero drawn by, let's say, I don't know, Picasso. So someone who is looking for a unique profile picture on Facebook will definitely love this tool. The last mind-blowing tool for images that I came across that may be helpful for some creators is Watermark Remover. I'm not sure I would use this tool on a daily basis because it sounds like something illegal, or at least on the edge. Watermarks are not being put on images for no reason, right? But if, if there is a situation where I need to see how the photo looks without watermarks, I just simply click Upload Image and that's it, you have it. No need to Photoshop anything. A couple of seconds of effort and you have a clean picture. I don't encourage using this tool, but just FYI it is possible to remove watermarks almost instantly. All right, we talked about images, now let's move to videos. And the next tool that I want to talk about is Lumen 5. Lumen 5 is an AI-powered video creation platform that can help you create engaging videos. Here you have a simple drag-and-drop interface and AI elements to automate the process of video creation. In other words, with Lumen 5 you can convert even your blog post into a video. Basically, you just paste into the tool the link to your post and it generates for you a video based on the text you have there. Afterwards, you can edit it, replace the images, text or videos that you think don't make sense. The the structure of this editing interface reminds me a bit of PowerPoint, with the only difference it picks the style, images and videos for you, and makes a film out of it. If you need a fast video presentation with some bullet points, priceless tool totally suggest. Next in our list is Hey Gen. This AI-powered tool is created for everyone who doesn't want to appear in front of the camera in person. Basically, you choose one of multiple use cases or templates available right away, let's say explainer video, marketing, training or new style content. You may also choose whether you want your video to be horizontal or vertical, so it's great for social media. Absolutely crazy thing is that you can choose any available persona that suits your type of the video the most. You can modify the voice and the speed of the reading. Then you input the text that will be narrated. Obviously, you can change almost every detail within the template you chose, and once you click Submit, the person you chose to narrate your text will come to life and will read your text as if it was a real human. Pretty revolutionary tool, and I can suggest it to anyone who needs a talking head in a video. Another mind-blowing tool is Runway. This one is a monster among others, and here's why. The marketing slogan that you can find on the webpage of Runway is everything you need to make anything you want. And that is actually true. If you have a look at the Magic Tools section, you'll see that there are a few areas where you can implement some crazy AI changes. Image, video, 3D pictures. Let's say I want to create a super slow motion from a regular video. Not an issue. Or there is a function to remove a background in the video. Easy. Finally, there are also the audio features that are, for example, capable of cleaning up the background noise. Very helpful tool in general, and I'm sure it has a great future, or at least it will be acquired by some company that will want to use runway technology. Everything is possible, and I sincerely keep my fingers crossed for it. Next video tool that uses several AI-powered features is Vid. 
In this portfolio, you can find all possible tools needed for video editing. Some of them are really cool, like auto subtitling, video background and noise remover, even AI image generator. And all this you can do online without downloading anything to your computer. The most satisfying thing, however, is that most of the tools are free. So if you are low on budget but need to edit a video for social media, add some music, this tool will make your work fast and smooth. I played around with Vid and should say that this online video editing platform has a huge potential. The last AI power tool dedicated to video that I wanted to touch today is Flicky. After a brief research, I can tell it is somewhat similar to Lumen 5. You start by adding the blog article URL and Flicky, powered by AI, will summarize your content, find perfect visuals and create a video with a human-like voiceover in your desired voice with branded subtitles. Unique thing about this tool is the fact that you can create videos in 75 plus languages and hundreds plus dialects. Not often tools like that offer something more than English. So if you need to make a video in almost any language with a little effort, visit the site flicky.ai and have fun. Okay, so we talked about images and videos, time to focus on sound. Well, some tools that I've already covered in this video have inbuilt functions responsible for audio enhancement or background noise removal. But now I want to talk about the AI-powered Adobe product, which is dedicated to sound. This tool is totally free. You don't need to have any subscription to use it. It's an AI noise reduction tool called Adobe Podcast. It is a beta product as of now, but it is available for everyone to test. Basically, what it does is it removes all the noise, echo and other unnecessary sounds from your voice recording, making it just a perfect tool for the creators who don't want to spend much time on tweaking the sound settings. I made a separate video on this topic and I received tons of comments with positive feedback. But to be 100% transparent, of course, I also received the comments where people complain about the fact that the tool didn't work properly for other than English languages. Well, I haven't checked that yet, but it may be totally true. AI tools are not yet perfect. Next, we have an AI tool which is extremely popular among everyone these days, not only corner creators, is ChatGPT. Basically, it's a chatbot that was trained on a large amount of text from several sources like Wikipedia, books, scientific journals, news articles, and can answer your questions in a matter of seconds on almost any topic. If you ask it to write you 10 bullet points for your next YouTube video on cooking topic, here it is. Do you need a Python or Java code for a simple video game that you've just described in detail in the chat window? Not a problem. Ask it to draw a Mickey Mouse. Well, okay, not everything is possible with this AI tool yet. But I should say, if you're a content creator who's extremely lazy and doesn't care about personal touch in your videos or articles, you may ask it to write you a text specifying even the number of words you need and you'll be all set in seconds. Well, that's scary. But at the same time, fascinating, don't you think so? Next, AI power tool that is widely advertised across the internet is Grammarly. Basically, it checks your grammar, spelling, punctuation and detects the tone of your text using some crazy smart algorithms. You can integrate it with almost everything – web apps, hundreds of desktop native apps and even Microsoft Office Suite. And the best part of it is that it is totally free. Not a demo or trial version or anything like that, but really free. Of course, there are premium versions where you can experience a real artificial intelligence touch, such as vocabulary ideas, tone suggestions, full sentence rewrites, but for the majority of people, the basic version may be totally enough. So if you want to polish your language, this AI power tool is definitely something that you need to try. Next one is Headline Analyzer. Headline Analyzer is an AI-powered tool that can help you to create compelling headlines that attract readers' attention. It provides suggestions for improving headline structure, length and word choice. Guys, there are literally plenty of tools like that on the internet since it is not such a sophisticated tool and I didn't even know which tool to choose as an example, so I got the first that drew my attention in Google search. But despite their simplicity, all of them are AI-powered, so that's a big thing nowadays. And if it helps corner creators to dive deeper into some topics, in a matter of seconds get great suggestions around titles and wording, helping potential readers or viewers to catch attention, then why not use it? Many similar applications you can integrate with your browser. I actually use a similar app but dedicated mainly to YouTube, which is vidIQ. It also helps me a lot with title suggestions, tags and give me scores for the video topics I'm creating. So don't be afraid to use such tools because it's okay to find out that your video title, for example, 
just sucks. All right, the last tool I wanted to tell you about is Durable. It will literally create a website for you in 30 seconds. All you need is just to tell the tool what type of business you're building, what is the name, and AI will create a basic web page with an about us section, description of your services, and testimonials that are adjusted to your type of business. Obviously, you can customize it later on with a website editor after you sign up. Then you'll be able to further modify the website, including adding logos, photos, AI-generated lists of catchy business names, and even AI-written content. The only drawback, Durable is free to try for only 30 days, and then you need to pay a monthly fee. But their plans start from only around 12 bucks and the price also includes a free custom domain. So not a bad deal at all. Moreover, it's recommended by reputable sources such as BNM Bloomberg, Small Business Trends and Business Insider. So if you're not a professional web designer or you just need to create a website for your client fast and with little cost, Durable is a perfect tool. Guys, these were just 18 AI-powered tools, which are literally a drop in the ocean of all other tools available, but I hope you liked and will use them for your own content creation. If you enjoyed this topic, I'm sure you'll like this video over here as well. Explore AI, write comments below about your experience, and see you in the next one. Cheers!